what the heck am I doing with Slinky? Well, as you can see, we got some kind of contraption on him. We got a GoPro on him. And today we're gonna give you a lizard's eye view of everything Slinky does. So it should be a good video. I'm hanging out here with Nick from uh, Nick and Paul. Check out his channel. If you wanna see Buttercup with a GoPro on her, we shot a really cool video on his channel. Uh, so Nick's got that going up. We'll have a link in the description for his channel. In the meantime, we're gonna just let Slinky do his thing and take you guys on a ride to see what monitors get up to when no one's watching. Our animal mission is simple. Education in action, conservation in action. This is Camp Kennedy. All right, so Slinky's wearing himself a very interesting contraption. You remember I did the walking with Slinky? Well, we had a leash on him. This time we're just using the harness and we strapped our GoPro to it. I got Nick from Nick and Paul Cafaro's channel over here right now and he's helping me out. But right now, it's all about Slinky. And you can see just how smart this reptile is. Now, monitor lizards are incredibly smart. There's many different species of monitors. There are some that can be just a few inches long, and then the real large ones like the Komodo dragon and the second largest lizard, which is going to be Slinky right here, an Asian water monitor. Now these guys range from India all the way through Southeast Asia, down in through Indonesia, and into some of the islands in the Pacific, like the Philippines, uh, just to name a few. And you can see him craning up. He's very alert. Watch this. When I throw a little bit of food at him, you'll see he has no problem reacting. Boom! Right on that crocodile yeah. diet. I'm using these pellets by Missouri. It's their crocodile diet, which is totally healthy for Slinky because he is a carnivore. And this guy will scavenge food, and he'll also hunt it down. They have powerful claws, powerful jaws, and a tail that can really whip you good. Trust me, I know. Now Slinky's just about five and a half foot. And when he's done growing, he's gonna be eight feet long. And talking about feet, look out for your feet, Nick. Whew, you don't wanna get a bite on stem from Slinky. Luckily, Slinky's a good dude yep, as he wanders in the leopard tortoise pen. Oh, there's a leopard tortoise now. <laughs> pretty cool. It's pretty awesome to be at this level watching Slinky move. You can really get a sense why, even though he's a larger lizard, he acts skittish when he sees humans standing over him. He's only a few inches off the ground, so it's just amazing to get this perspective. It is awesome. There's a term the Germans use, it's called Umwelt, and it's basically a psychological term, how an organism perceives or moves throughout its environment. And we are really seeing just what Slinky sees. That's not exactly, it's a pretty good representation. I really love putting myself in this animal's mind. It's one way how we are able to keep them and understand why and what they need in order to thrive. I love letting Slinky out. You guys know that if you follow the channel from time to time. I like to get him out of his enclosure. I like to see this kind of behavior. And here's the backside of my recreation pond. This is a beautiful pond. And this is the waterfall right here. And he's probing, looking for just something to eat. Now Slinky is not afraid to nibble on snakes, and I have seen some water snakes in this area and another area. Hopefully he won't get any, because I like to keep the water snakes alive. They're really fun to swim with as well. It looks like Slinky's gonna come upon another leopard tortoise here. It's so cool. Watch how curious he looks at the leopard tortoise. Can I eat you? He sizes him up. Uh, I don't think so. Maybe I can. Uh, nah. I can't eat him. Anyhow, Slinky was wandering in the wrong direction, so I thought it was about time that we picked him up and kind of brought him on over to the recreation pond. This is where thing gets interesting, and this is where you're gonna see the namesake, Water Monitor. When you watch these guys swim, they're so graceful, and they can hunt in the water as well as out of the water. They are a true amphibious reptile, meaning they can go in and out of water without any problem. His tail is flattened. It's got a nice uh, lateral compression so he can power him. Oh, oh, excuse me, sorry everybody. I hope you didn't hurt your heads there. Knocking on some of that coral riprap rock. Anyhow, he's kind of just using that tail to push him around and uh, he's using that tongue and that tongue is just like a snake's tongue. In fact, lizards and snakes are very closely related. 
and the water monitors, or monitor lizards in general, use that fork tongue and they have a specialized organ called the Jacobson's organ and that organ helps them decipher their environment even more. Is there food there? Is there danger? It's picking up chemical cues and look at this. This is where my brown water snake always hangs out. Now I'm glad the young lady isn't around because it seems like Slinky is picking up her scent and so he's really investigating underneath the dock here on my aquascape rec pond. This is a really really cool behind the scenes view of the dock everybody but there is a snake that lives under there and you'll notice Slinky is very very interested in what's going on under the dock but nothing so he heads on back out and uh, that's where I decided you know what maybe I should get him a few more few more nuggets for him to eat so I started chucking some more food out there but wow this is so cool just look at the detail of the skin and here's how he strikes that striking that Missouri. He likes to bring it over to the side to eat. Oh, there we are. There's Nick and I. And you'll see I chuck another one just right there. And as always, Slinky is on it. Not a problem. Again, loves to eat at the side so he can put his front legs down and just kind of swallow more comfortably. If he had to, he can eat in the deep water, but I guess it's just a little bit more easy. Where will Slinky go next? This is awesome. Now, I've had Slinky about five years. Oh, has it? Yeah, it's been about five years. And when I got him, he was only about three foot long, and he was a real nervous lizard. But now, no problem. Uh-oh, look out, Slinky. Oh, Slink, can you just duck a little bit? That would make it easier. Eh, thank you, my friend. Again, you can see this pond has been built out of repurposed construction material and we decorate around it to make it look natural. So that was a piece of corrugated tubing. And now he's in the cichlid nursery. We may even see a few fish if he goes underwater here. Now we're looking up towards the bog wetland filtration and the waterfall. It's just so cool to take this ride with him. Yeah, he wants to stay in the deep part of the water. That's really cool. We haven't seen him go underwater yet. I'm hoping he will. And I guess I'm going to get my wish because he's diving, man. That is amazing. Look at all the fish swimming by. And again, showing you he can use that tongue underwater. He can, he can sense underwater or smell, if you will, under the water. He's putting his nose in there. He sticks his tongue. Is there anything good to eat in here? Again, very active and alert and intelligent lizards. You must know that, guys. Monitor lizards require a lot of space. These animals will wander far and wide when they're out in the wild. And it's very important if you're going to keep one of these animals to make sure you have a large enough enclosure. Obviously, I mentioned it earlier, I love to get him out of his enclosure, which itself is about 20 by 12 foot long. Uh, but I get him out every day, get him a little bit of a stretch, and he's back in the, in the uh, tunnel. No problem. And watch as he comes on out. Beautiful. And the cichlids seem to be wary of him. Wow, good response there from Slinky. Really going after that Missouri croc diet. And what a beautiful and relaxing video this is. My gosh, who would have thought strapping yourself on the back of a water monitor could be so amazing? We're going to have to do more of these videos, guys. This is a real swimming with because we are actually on Slinky. So this is so much fun, guys. I hope you're enjoying this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and to share videos if you enjoy them. Once again, Slinky, really enamored by this area, looking for that brown water snake. I'm so glad he did not get it. I know Kate wouldn't have mind if he had a little snake surprise, but uh, we want to keep those snakes happy. I think Slinky has had enough snake for once in a while. Those who watch the channel know what I'm talking about. He can be a naughty boy sometimes when he gets some when he gets those hunger pangs, he just goes for it. Well, there I am everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. Slinky and I are going to have a little swim with ourselves 
And uh, we'll be doing more of this. Don't forget to like and subscribe and head on over to patreon.com slash campkennon if you want to see some more original content like this GoPro video. All right, guys, so I hope you really enjoyed this as much as we did. This is a real swimming with because you guys had the perfect perspective of what Slinky sees. I'll see you guys soon. And don't forget, check out Nick's channel. We're gonna have a link in the description where he swims with Buttercup. You got a GoPro and Buttercup. This is pretty amazing, guys. See you soon. Perfect.